Toe died yesterday at the age of 88. He had been bedridden for quite some time before his condition deteriorated rapidly. Visitors have been coming to pay their respect at the memorial altar set up at the Seoul National University Hospital since 10 this morning. No Toe had been treated for chronic illness at home in Yonidong. The former president started showing symptoms of hypoxia and low blood pressure on Monday. On Tuesday, No died an hour after being transported to the ER of Seoul National University Hospital. According to doctors, he apparently died from old age and long-standing illness. He had been bedridden for more than a decade. No had undergone prostate cancer surgery in 2002 and had been hospitalized several times due to pneumonia. According to his family, the ex-president always said he is grateful and honored to have served a great nation and its people and that he did his best but asked to be forgiven for shortcomings and mistakes. Reportedly, he also wished for the two Koreas to be unified peacefully by the younger generations. Political figures are expected to pay their respects on Wednesday. The first one to arrive at around 9.40 a.m. was former People Power Party leader Kim Jong-in. Current leader of the main opposition, Lee jun suk also came to pay his condolences to the late president. Other politicians, including Democratic Party leader Song Young-gil, as well as presidential contenders Lee Jae-myung and Yoon sung yeol are expected to show up. No Tae-ho's family issued a statement. They are talking with the government about the funeral. They want the late president to be buried in Paju, where the Unification Park is located, instead of the National Cemetery.